My name is Lena Stefansson and I'm the head of the MIME acting program in Stockholm, in Stockholm Academy of Dramatic Arts. Um, my view on what MIME is comes a lot from my professor Stanislav Brusovsky, who was the founder of this education where I work now. And he still sometimes teaches here. And he speaks about MIME as energy inside of, inside of the body energy that comes out on the outside and that you act before you you speak even if you speak or if you not speak it comes from the inner side and that is visible in the body for those who watches and i think my view on on uh, mime is a lot from him from this energy that you can see flowing inside the body of good mime actors but then also for me, my mess has to do, because I, w I have used it as a tool, a as a director, and I think it has to do with rhythm for me, personally. Rhythm and uh, how to make choreography uh, in a big room, like for example how you use the room, how you use different directions, and how you use the body of the actors. So uh, that, that's a point of view from the director, and I think I'm quite influenced by my education also in that sense and also we speak in the school me and my t my colleague Alejandro Bonet we speak also about my exactly like that as a tool to create theater that is movement based so hopefully in this festival uh, there will be some students from our school and they will show their own projects that's a course that goes the second and third year and it has its premiere the third year, where they had the, the task is to create your own performance, not only in, a, in an everyday room, but also with production, the, the, what you choose from light, sound, scenography. But the idea is totally, it has to come from the student, her or himself, and you have, they have to develop and also ask help, ask for help from us teachers, from the technicians in the school and everything. So this, it's, it's like a training program where they should, how, how do you actually do a performance by yourself? What do you know about Ukraine? Uh, what I know about <laughs> Ukraine? I know nearly anything, nothing about Ukraine. I know there was not few pro political problems a couple of years ago. Of course, I also know the situation uh, before, in, because when, when, when Ukraine was a part, more a part of the Eastern Europe, but I'm happy to be able to see Ukraine now for the first time. And I expect some wild nature, and I expect this, to see this beautiful Kiev that I've only seen in photos. See you in Kiev. <laughs>